The tragic loss of their child leads two Pine Belt parents to change the law and raise awareness of school bus safety. Before Nathan's law, it was more expensive to throw a piece of paper out and litter at that time than it was to pass a stop school bus. Lori Key's son, Nathan, a five-year-old, was killed by a driver who unlawfully passed his school bus in 2009. To honor their son, the Keys have organized a nonprofit organization and Nathan's Legacy being a national association to help another Nathan survive. Foundation members traveled the state educating students and parents about school bus safety with the primary focus placed on keeping students safe. We started the foundation in order to further the cause of, of keeping other children safe. That's, that's one of our, our primary focus. Along with providing education, the Keys hope to provide more safety equipment. Through donations and things made to the foundation, that we will be able to help provide safety equipment to school districts. Through education and donations, the Keys say little Nathan's memory lives on. I have a responsibility to make Nathan's legacy for him, um, which is really, really easily done because he created a legacy for himself. Reporting for Hub City TV, I'm Leslie Nash.